trying something new. I'm going to be parting out this IC ceiling fan. I'm not going to throw it out, even though there's no fixing it. I'm just parting it out for another fan. This down rod got really flimsy all of a sudden. <coughs> now, first but not least, I mean, first thing to do, I'm going to take off my testing wire. It's very important to do, actually, so just look at that. Second thing to do is lift up the upper canopy and start taking out the capacitor and all that stuff. Oh, wire got disconnected. Now I'm wondering if that's why it wasn't working. Doubt it. So, I tested this very recently because if you touch a capacitor right after it turns off, you're going to get a tiny little electrical shock. So I'm not risking that, and I'm doing that last. So, first thing I'm going to do is take off the down rod. Because I'm obviously going to save the down rod and canopies. There's no reason to trash those. The only thing that's actually going to get thrown away is like the, the, um, both the pieces for the motor and some of the... Maybe I'll take out the copper if I, when I get the time to do that. This capacitor was off when I parted out E13ZK. Bad bearings, and it was missing the upper canopy. And the bearings worked, but they made a lot of noise, and I couldn't quiet it down. So, trying my hardest not to touch the capacitor wires. Get the view off. Try not to touch those wires, I don't want to get shocked. Get the view off. And. Boom. And obviously, the shackle is going to be your roof because I always end up needing these shackles for ceiling fans, especially fans that don't have any or fans that have them missing. So, just shackle. And as for the um, motor, that's going in the fan closet. I spent all morning trying to get this to work. So the bearings make a bit of noise, but they're still getting recycled because they work. So, bye bye. Thanks for watching.